so when looking at a problem like this, again, the main important thing that we want to do is identify what is going to be our legs and our hypotenuse, right? And remember, the hypotenuse is always directly across from your 90 degree angle. And the legs create, make, are the two sides that create your 90 degree angle. So therefore, I can determine that this is 13 squared plus x squared equals 15 squared, right? Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, right, for your Pythagorean theorem. Or a squared plus b squared equals c squared, blah, blah, blah. So now I need to go ahead and square these. And this kind of goes back again to knowing these squared numbers. 13 times 13 is 169, plus x squared equals 225. All right, 31, so that's going to be 56. So now I'll subtract 169. And I have x squared is going to equal, that would be 31, so that's 56. Now, this question said leave the problem in radical form. So I'm not going to use my calculator as far as finding a decimal value. I've got to find the radical value. So on this one, I need to be able to determine, well, what, which one of these then divides into square root of 56? Right? So we obviously need to start uh, just above, below 56. Does 49 divide into 56, Dennis? No. Does 36? No. 25? No. 16? Let's do 16, 32, 48. 64, no, that doesn't work. Does 9? Think about what 9 times what gives you 56? Yeah, that's 54. So 9 times 6 is 54. So does 9 divide into it? No. What about 4? Would 4 divide into it? We know 4 goes into 14, or 4 goes into 40. Then there's 16 left over. Does 4 go into 16? Yes. So therefore, this divides into it 14 times. So I can say x squared equals 4 times 14. I'm sorry. Let's take the square root on both sides. So can I simplify the square root of 4? How can I simplify the square root of 4? I can rewrite the square root of 4 as? Um, I can rewrite the square root of 4 as? 2. two. I was just waiting for it, AJ. Thank you, though. So it would be 2 square root of 14. And that's how we get our final answer. Okay. So again, I will reiterate. 